Hi, Jeremy from Answer AI here with a quick walkthrough of me solving an optimization problem in Excel. Um, <clears throat> this is an actual optimization problem that my friends Hamill and Luke had to solve. Um, I've changed the names and the numbers uh, and I thought I would share with you how we can solve it just using Excel. Um, Excel is a powerful tool that often makes this kind of stuff pretty easy. Uh, let's work through it together and see if we can figure it out. So uh, we're trying to do a share allocation where Hamel and Jeremy are going to have their shares allocated um, according to some rules. Apparently Hamel is going to get 35% of the company and Jeremy is going to get two times total shares divided by 160. Uh, I don't know why those formulas were chosen, but that's what we were told <coughs> is needed. So uh, let's figure out how we can solve that. So first of all, we need to see what percentage of shares. So, oh, and this one here, the general, that, that one we're not allowed to change. Uh, so we can only change Hamill and Jeremy's. This is just a starting point that uh, we were given as a rough guide. Um, so we need to calculate, see, see whether this current, currently qualifies. I assume it doesn't, otherwise we wouldn't be asked to do this. So we need to know what percentage shares does Hamill have. <coughs> to sum up a column, it's uh, Command Shift T on Mac or Alt Equals on Windows. You can see that creates a sum. Uh, let's find out what percentage everybody has. So I'll go ahead and type percent there. So to find out the percentage each person has, it would be general divided by total. And that total needs to not change. So if I press F4, it changes that to a absolute reference. And then I'll press Command down, which is Command D, I should say, or Control D, I think, on Windows. Change that to a percent, um, which uh, we can do here with the percent button. Um, so obviously those should add up to 100. So Command Shift T, they do. All right. So yeah, we can see Hamill does not have 30. 5%, he has 36%. Okay, what about Jeremy? Does Jeremy's shares equal to 2 times total over 160? So we'll type 2 times, uh, well those parentheses don't matter, so I'll just ignore that. 2 times total shares divided by 160. So Jeremy should have 3,000, but he's got 3,300. Okay, so that's not quite what we wanted either. Okay, so the way uh, I would solve this to figure out what's the correct number of shares for Hamill and Jeremy for them to have 35% and for this number to be correct is I would add a column, which I would generally call loss, uh, which is going to contain uh, basically information about how far are we away from our goal. So for Hamill, it should be 35%. So we're going to say equals and how far away we generally want to use absolute values. So absolute value of that minus 35%, 0 0.35. Um, oops, wrong way around. Okay, there we go. Um, and that number is going to be pretty small. So let's like multiply it by 1,000 just to get it up to a reasonable range. Um, and in fact, Jeremy's shares are going to be out by a few hundred. So I kind of like these to be similar orders of magnitude. So let's keep going up. And also, let's make this, um, actually, let me do this one first. So then this one here, how far away is this one? It's the absolute value of what it is meant to be minus what it is. So you can see these both are what it's meant to be divided minus what it is, absolute value. Sum those up, Command-Shift-T. So that's like our total, how far away are we from what we want to be. Um, and... Maybe we want a little bit more precision, so we could uh, bump this up, maybe like so. Oh, that's one to small place, it's fine. Okay, um, so I'll save that. Good, okay. Um, so uh, the um, Next step then is to find the correct numbers. We've got all this set up. Um, we use um, Solver to do that. If you don't have Solver 
currently appearing here, then you will need to click on um, uh, add-ins and turn it on. Um, you also see it here in the data ribbon, the solver. Um, so tools menu, solver. Um, so what are we trying to do? We're trying to make this number here as low as possible. That's our goal. So that's what setting the objective is. And then what are we allowed to change? We're allowed to change Hamill and Jeremy's number of shares. Okay, and then you click solve. And yep, loss has gone down to zero. So the correct answer that we can now tell uh, Hamill and Luke is that Hamill should have 92,043 shares. Jeremy should have 3,287 shares, as a result of which Hamill has 35% and Jeremy has two times the total divided by 160. And we're done. Hope you found this interesting.